Hey guys, it's Janae. Welcome back. So today I thought we would do a quick craft with me. My friend Crystal, she had created a project with these little like frappuccino cups and I had to get them. So I ordered them. They just came in and I thought, let's do a craft with me. So I want to fill them with um, sequins. So we're going to go ahead and make a sequins mix together. Try not to knock over all of my containers of sequins. That would be a disaster. Um, this is like my handy dandy spray painted gold <laughs> um, little jar that I use and then my kiddo's old spoon. And then, so I'm going to be playing with marigold and um, I'm not very good at matching like colors with collections, but I, I try, I, I try to do my best. Um, Marigold does have like some brown and then like the mustard yellow, the pinks, the blues, a little bit of the coral. So I'm going to start with um, kind of like this mustard yellow over here in this corner. There's something in there, I don't know what that is. So that's like the mustard yellow color. I know this is probably not the best jar that's like appealing to the eye, <laughs> but this is what I always use. I've always used that. And then um, I'm gonna add like a little bit of peach cause there is like some peachy colors. And then I have like some of this, like, I don't know. It's kind of like a neutral, like beige almost type color. I'm gonna add a little bit of that. And then I may come back to this one again, we'll see. And so for reference, I'm using this paper because it has all of the colors here, um, kind of like as my reference, I guess. And then I'm also using, of course, this one right here because this is like my favorite paper from the collection. I just think it's so beautiful. Okay, so um, I'm going to add some gold in here. Let's see. So probably do some like these smaller ones. And then I love these hexagons. I, only, I almost always add those. And then there is like a dark navy blue, but I don't really have a dark navy blue, you guys. And these are greens down here. There is kind of like a darker green, but hmm, we will come back to this one perhaps. Let's just get into the pinks. <laughs> okay, so there's like a kind of like a bubblegum pink, maybe similar to this right here, and then like a really blush looking pink. So I am going to add some of these. These are a couple different sizes that are mixed. Um, if you haven't seen my video on how I store my sequins, um, I will have that link down below. But I do, I mix like smaller with larger just so that it doesn't take up too much space in my crafty area. Um, I'm going to add a little bit of these. I think these are really pretty. They're super little. We'll add some of those. And then I almost always use white as a base because I think it makes all the other colors pop. Um, I did just get in, yes. I did just get in these really cool ones right here that have like dots on them. So I'm gonna use these. And then the collection does have black in it, so I might add a little bit of black. Um, we'll see. And then I have more pink right here. Kind of playing the shuffling game with all these containers. I think it's looking pretty so far. I need something that's a little bit, let's add some of these ones. This like matte pink color, it's really pretty and they're larger. That is looking good so far. And maybe some of these. Um, okay, 
Okay, so you guys, I don't have any of like that navy blue. Um, I got the pinks. I got like a mustard yellow. I added like a little bit of like that tannish color that would be like the brown in this collection. I could try adding just a small hint of black. I just hold these as well and I will leave that video down below. But they remind me of like broken glass maybe? I don't know. But they're really interesting. Okay, so I do like the pop of black. Okay, maybe we should add some clear. I have these pink like, I don't know what these are called. They're just kind of like embossed and they're clear. They're really pretty. Okay, so I actually really like the way that that looks. Um, I think I might add a little bit of white. I know I'm like all over the place, but this is truly how I do things. All over. <laughs> Okay, so I think that that looks pretty. I do have some seed beads here um, that I was thinking about adding. So I have like these ones, like the clear, the white, and then mint green won't work. And this peach color, I think actually would work. So I'm gonna add a little bit of that peach color. Actually, you know what? I'm just gonna stick with the clear. Maybe I'll add a little bit more. Oh boy, this one is so full, doesn't want to close. Okay, so this is my sequin mix. I think it turned out really pretty. I wish I had like a non-translucent um, mustard yellow, but I don't. And my baby just woke up from her nap. But yeah, I think that's really pretty. So basically all I'm going to do is fill these jars. Um, and in one of them, I might add like some pom-poms to it and the other one just keep it just sequins. Um, I gotta go get my kiddo real quick. Okay, so we have these little cups and I'm just gonna kind of spoon this in. I have, well, both babies ended up waking up. So now I have one next to me and the other one is eating a snack. So if you hear a lot of moving around, that's because the littlest baby is sitting next to me. Okay, so I went ahead and put all of that in there. And these cups are supposed to snap on really good from what I've read. Maybe not for me. <laughs> oh, that's why. Okay, there's like a little alignment piece. Oh yeah, that does have like a nice firm, um, yeah, that isn't going anywhere. I don't think you'd have to like tape it or anything. Look how cute that is. Isn't that cute? So it does have that really cool, like, um, notched area where you can add charms. So that is what it looks like. I'm going to go ahead and get my charms out and we'll add some charms. And I've gotten quite a bit of um, questions on my container for my charms. And it is from Lots of Style on Amazon. Um, you can find them, I think, one I got for free for doing a collaboration. But the other one I want to say I paid maybe like $12, $13 for. It wasn't very expensive. So for Marigold, I know I don't have like a duck or anything cool like that but I have some birds and that to me is like very Maggie Holmish this little bird is really cute and it, the colors I think actually match really well um and then maybe like a longer bit to hang down on the side you guys can't really see like the whole thing um that be too much yeah I think that's a little too big I have like this cream one right here because the paper isn't like stark white I don't think at least I think that'll look cute 
Um, let's see. I'm going to stick this one back on and then put this one on top. A lot of these are ones that have been gifted to me um, and past swaps and things like that. Um, oh yeah, so there isn't really like some mustard or any like teal, but that mustard yellow is really pretty. I'm going to add that one. I think that's one of my biggest problems is that if colors don't match correctly or I just get really weird about certain things, you guys, which is silly. I mean, it's really silly. Okay, so I'm going to stick this back and get out my tools. So, ah, if you watched my organization haul, a lot of you guys suggested that I mix them. So I did. I put like basically all of my beading and little findings in these containers right here. Okay, so I want to like hoop it on. So I think I'm going to use, I think with one of these, it would hang too low. Although I could cut it. I wonder, I think I could cut this. But I also have these little doohickey things. I don't remember what these are called. Um, what are these things called? <laughs> I think that this would actually work better. Yeah, okay, so I will end up using that. So we just need some jump rings. And we're going to need Three. Okay, my kiddo is done with her snack. So I'm going to pause the video really quick. Okay, so I got my jump rings. I've got my tools over here. Sorry, you guys. I've had to pause this video a couple times. Life with little babies. If you don't know, I have a one-year-old and a almost four-month-old. And they are 12 months apart. All of my kiddos are born in November. So this might dangle a little low. I might loop this one completely through. I really want to use that because of the mustard yellow. That's really cute. But we're going to go ahead and loop these ones in and hook them on. I stand when I craft and I'm trying to look through like the screen on my phone. Um... <laughs> And it's kind of, it's making it interesting. I did just get an iPad, you guys. Um, I don't really do like all of the, the hip, cool, trendy stuff, even though I know they've been around forever. But um, I don't really watch TV and things like that because I spend, I work from home, so I'm on a computer all day. So I try not to be on any other electronic when I'm not at work, I guess, if that makes sense. So this is really cute so far. Um, I'm gonna wait to put that one on and I'm just gonna hook these ones on really quick because I think that that one is so much longer that um, it will like hang down too far. Maybe I'm just being weird, I don't know. Okay, so we definitely need something here because I don't like that big empty space. So yeah, let's go ahead and put, I think I'm gonna need a larger jump ring now. So the bad thing about me moving all of my jump rings is that they used to be sized perfectly and now I kind of have to dig. But it is kind of convenient having them um, all in the same area. Okay, I'm gonna have to pause the video again. Okay, so that's what it looks like. I think it's really cute. I do want to add something else to them, but I got to go get my baby, so I'll be back in a second. Okay, so I'm officially back. It is several hours later, and it's dark because, you know, life with kids. So this is where we left off, and um, I added these little dangly bits to the side. I do want to actually pop the top of this off and add sequins to the top of here because I don't like that it's like empty <laughs> I guess so we're gonna go ahead and do that 
before I forget because I kept looking at it and I'm like, mm. you guys watch me make a huge mess. Okay, let's try to line this up. Yep, mess. Yep, definitely made a mess. Where did it go? Where did it go? There it is. Okay. Yeah, that's a lot better. It's not completely full, but it, um, I think it just looks a lot better now that it's not like completely dead right there. <laughs> okay, so I had seen where somebody had taken a, um, I'm actually going to sit on my stool, a flare button and, um, attached it to kind of like, um, one of these. My friend had sent me one that she had purchased from somebody. And so I wanted to try to make one of those. And I had this one, and I believe this is from the Maggie Holmes style board collection. But I also have like these little clear epoxy stickers that are basically for flare. I'm not sure that the little horse, I mean, actually it does look cute, but then I have a horse and a bird. Does anybody else think of things like that, that that might be, I don't know. So I don't have a six by eight paper pad yet because I haven't received it. And all I have is the 12 by 12 paper and I'm really just not sure if, um, if it's going to be too big looking because the print is like enlarged. So I do have this paper and because I did add a little bit of black, I thought that maybe I could use this paper. So you just punch it and then I'm sure everybody has seen this. I mean, flare is definitely nothing new. And then you just take your little epoxy bit I might have to do this off camera, you guys, so that I can see what I'm doing. <laughs> okay. And then just kind of like push down. Like so. And then I have these things. I have a really big AliExpress haul that I'm gonna be doing here shortly. So I have this little, I guess it's called a bell. Um, and I did order the plastic ones. I need to turn my hot glue gun on. But I'm going to attach it here and then dangle it off. And I think the black will tie in nicely so that everything isn't super colorful and then there's no black. <clears throat> I also did pull out these bows because every time I walked by, um, I just thought that it looked kind of plain in the front. And so maybe attaching a little bow might be cute, like right there. It might pop off though, because this thing is, yeah. But in the meantime, I think I want to add this like mustardy tassel because I think it'd be really cute. I don't have like the super small Maggie Holmes ones anymore. I don't think I'm going to look really quick. Okay. So actually I did find a smaller pink one that might be kind of cute to dangle here. I really love this mustard color one. This was from my friend Lacey, um, Cole who she has laces and ribbons, but I think it's just a little bit too big, but I am going to keep this on my desk so that I can use it. But I think I'm just gonna use this little pink one right here and we're just gonna pop that on. And then let it dangle. I kind of just want like a whole bunch of fun little elements on the side of this. And this will also kind of fill in like that voided area where there isn't anything. Maybe, <laughs> yeah, it does. It kind of fills in like that area where there's just not really a whole lot of much going on. Okay, so I've never actually used these before and I think a lot of people use the E6000. I don't have, oh yes I do 
but they take a long time to dry. So I'm hoping this works because the back of that is cardstock. I need a different glue gun. If anybody has any recommendations on a glue gun that does not leave a thousand little teeny tiny strings all over, please let me know. Okay, I'm gonna press this down again. When I first got into paper crafting, um, flare was like super popular. This is actually in fall time, during fall, it'll be my five years of paper crafting and also doing Happy Mail. Like I literally jumped in head first into happy, or feet first <laughs> into the Happy Mail um, you know, community and whatnot. And back then when I did it, it was on Facebook. I was a part of a whole bunch of groups on there. And then eventually I stopped swapping on Facebook because I kept getting burned and burned and burned and burned. Okay, so that I think that looks pretty cute. There's just a lot of little itty bitty bits and bobs. I think that that black is actually a nice addition because there is the little like shards of glass looking sequins. And then lastly, I think I wanna add just a little bow right here to kind of spruce it up. I'm gonna have to hope that this doesn't fall off because it's quite chunky. And this is circular, so let's see. I'm gonna try to like Okay, so that is the completed little Frappuccino cup with sequins. Isn't that cute? I love these colors. The mustard yellow is just, it kills me. It's so pretty. I absolutely love those little beads right there. Those are from my friend um, Haley. She is Supreme Glitter Queen on Instagram. And she also owns um, Paper Cherries. So that is it, you guys. Um, here is a look at this or at this view. I think it's really cute. I plan on like attaching one of those longer, these things right here. This must have fallen off something. Um, One of these and dangling it from a project. But yeah, there's our little Frappuccino cups. Um, I will be having, like I said, a relatively large um, AliExpress and Amazon haul here very, very, very shortly. So anyways, you guys, thank you so much for hanging out with me and crafting with me. And um, yeah, I will catch you guys on the next video. Have a fabulous day. Thanks for Bye, guys. watching. Please subscribe to my mommy's channel. Bye. Bye.